because the eyes are reflecting back because of the light uh, that's uh, the camera so actually I want to go to the junction here myself because at the junction there it's much open and it will make uh, our job very easy because you'll see them passing by in a nice open area look he's coming no do not come do not just relax buff just relax I know our car is smaller, but just relax. Hey, these buffaloes are always injured all the time. Injured all the time. So I think this one is also injured. I just want to be at the junction here, being surrounded by these giants. Beautiful, love it. Oh, hello, mom. You look very big. Uh, buffalo Sioux, they, they're not animals that you can, you can trust most of the time, but I'm, I'm much safer here. They tend to, to move away from cars and they tend to move away from a person who's uh, who's walking but uh, as, as I've mentioned earlier on that it's it's much it's much uh, safer to keep them at distance because that's why they are part of the big five because uh, they they've, they've, they've killed and attacked a lot of, uh, of hunters these uh, these animals This one is breathing, see he's having a, a, a sore throat. Oh, look at that. Yes, beautiful sky indeed. So you'll see the youngsters, uh, they don't really like these uh, old boys because they know that they are more powerful than them and they're more experienced and then when they're around here they might uh, compete, uh, they might not be able to compete with them because of the, of the strength and uh, the experience of being in the bush. Look at this big boy and tell me that a, uh, a younger male won't be intimidated here because these big boys, they are just full of power. You see them uh, chasing around these younger males because uh, especially when uh, the female is, in, is on heat. Because uh, they don't have a specific breeding season so they breed all year round but what happens is they prefer to, to, to give birth to, to the cows especially when there's lots of grasses around and they don't do well in, uh, uh, during drought, these animals. Because they need to drink a lot of water every day because uh, they feed on lots of, of grasses each day. Because as they are four chambered stomach, what they do is they have to feed, they have to fill up their rumen. And then while doing that, they have to get enough water or more water to, to help them digest. And what they will do, they will settle in here. They don't like moving at night unless there's something that disturbs them. So when the sun goes down, it gets dark. There will, some they will be lying apart, some they will be standing and you'll see them uh, looking different. Oh, there's, oh, there's commotion going on right here. Yeah, it is. I say that. Uh, you give us a sunset, brother. Be uh, uh, the, the colors actually before before it vanishes. 
because I'm looking at the at the sky there, it's beautiful. While these buffs are making a bit of noise. It's a pale spotted owlet. It, it will come closer. Oh, thank you, myself. It's beautiful, brother. So you, you will notice when uh, when they start settling in, when they start sitting down, you'll see the 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 boys. What they do is they prefer to be uh, uh, on the flanks of. <laughs> so it's dark. I can see a thing here yeah. uh, on the flanks of uh, of the head, and then the uh, the cuffs. Uh, they prefer to be in the middle because they know that the, the dangers are left just uh, on the boundaries of the herd. So that's where these females and males, they protect uh, the head viciously and make sure that the youngsters are kept in the middle. But you know, when, when a lion is here or when a predator is here, okay, it creates, they create a uh, commotion. That's why, that's why they tend to be confused. Yay! Oh, you can say that again, proper. You need a, a leopard in a tree with the sunset. Thank you, Sue. Would you like to come on a live virtual safari with me? Go to painterdog.tv to find out more.